Okay, Geoheads, this is Mr. Pruis. This is Sean, my kid, and he's going to help us demonstrate a little uh, something that we learn about in this class. Um, I have a piece of mylar here. Now, if you don't have one of these and you want to try this at home, you just need a note card or maybe a playing card. Um, something that, you know, the stiffer the better and um, something that won't just get all wet and soaked. Um, but you can also just use a cup like this child's cup. And um, so, Sean, um, what's the air made of? Oxygen. Oxygen, and what else? What's the other one? Starts with an N. Don't remember? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Yeah. And the oxygen and the nitrogen, they make what? Because of the weight of the air, we feel what? It starts with a P. <laughs> Forgot that too? Oh, the air pressure. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna turn this over. Now, when I turn this over, what's gonna happen, Sean? Gonna stay up. It's gonna stay up? Why? Because the vacuum is, is sucking this up and then it goes and it's trying to get in there. Well, maybe we ought to tip then... it over first and then you try to talk about that. But you do have, uh, somehow you remember that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we turn it over, guys. All right, and the water's not falling out. Does everybody see that? Now tell me again, Sean, where's the vacuum? Where's the partial vacuum? Oh, you're right, inside the cup. Yeah, it's like sucking it a little bit, right? It seems like it, okay. What about the, what about here? Why is it staying? Which way is the air pressure pushing from the, out here? Pushing up, right? Air pressure pushing up, okay. How come the water's not falling? Because the vacuum is sucking this up into there and it's not falling. Okay, so you mean the, the weight of the water and the pressure in here is the same as the air pressure pushing up and they're like equal so it doesn't move, right? Yeah, that's, you are right about that, okay? So there's a lot of pretty advanced concepts here going on, on in this, guys. But the key here is to, is to know that this is a, a great demonstration of air pressure um, and, it, and it truly exists because you all know if you've been to a, a McDonald's or played with a straw, if you put your finger over a straw and then and pull up some water in it from a drink and then take your thumb off the straw, the water runs out. Everybody's done that when they're just playing with a straw. Whoa! Sean, I was just going to say, what would have happened if we poke a hole in the top of the cup? It would and drop down. It would drop down, right, because the vacuum would go away. It's like pulling your thumb off of the straw, okay? All right, well, good job. Thank you, Sean. Wanna do another one? You got wet. Okay, be careful. No.